Okay, folks, uh, this is the first intro for the next video of our depredation hunt. It's Wednesday. I was just, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go and look, check these fields at 8 o'clock tonight and just see that they're only five minutes from the house. Well, of course, the field that I shot my doe on has 15 plus deer, all does on the field, right in the middle of the field, perfect spot to shoot them. So I immediately just ran home, put some pants on, put my boots on, grabbed my backpack, my camera, gun, everything, and now I'm back. I'm not even in camo. The plan is to, well, we're going to see if they're there. I'm going to hope they're all still out in the field. There's literally deer everywhere. I'm seeing deer right here on the right side of me right now. And um, I'm going to try to sneak behind his house, get in this corn, the cornfields right behind him. So I'm going to try to sneak in there and use that as my cover for walking in. And then hopefully they're all just still out in the bean field and have maybe worked down into the bottom there. That would be optimal. And then, you know, get set up and hopefully be able to make a shot or two. I mean, my goal tonight would be to knock down two of these. But there, one group was a huge group of big does. And then it looked like there was another set of decent does. And then it looked like there was another group of does on the edge that looked like smaller, maybe some fonts and stuff. But I didn't get a real good grip look because I was just like, I got to get out of here and get home. So... We'll see you soon. I'm about to be there in a few minutes to really see if they're all still out there. And uh, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. It should be a fun little episode here of this first night of next of our next week of hunting them. <laughs> well, folks, that was an awesome hunt. I got to show you this, what happened. I didn't get on film because everything happened so fast. I wanted to get them down. Here's the first one. Dude, I shot a, mo a monster doe. This is a big one. I don't know where. They got hit right behind the shoulder. Yep, shot it right, oh, right there. Right behind the shoulder. She only ran about 40 yards and piled right up. And uh, and then I was tracking her. I came up real quick, I was like, maybe it'll be there. The other four does were right here. And then I was just getting ready to get set up on them. And they ran down this bottom, and it was right near the property line. And then I was in debate on taking another shot. But then I said, if I aim high and just try to drop the doe in her tracks with the seven mag, I'll take the shot, and I did, and I thumped her right on the ground. Sorry for no film on them, but we gotta get these does down, and the farmer's gonna be really happy, and this is just gonna help out our deer season. So I'm gonna check out this field, get her to the edge, then I'm gonna head home, we gotta get the side by side, and uh, get going. But seven mag redemption, I was feeling pretty bad about that last doe I shot, and uh, yeah, didn't miss those two times. And those were pretty close shots for granted, but, uh, oh, here she is. Let me show you too. I have no, uh, it's not a big one, but guess what? Number two, there's three for me right near the edge. Perfect. We'll just drag her right there and get her out of here. I'll show you after we get them piled up, but. Well, folks, there they are. Next two on the list. Got them in, got ice in them, and we'll take them to the processor tomorrow. Alright folks, Dad and I are out here doing a preliminary scout for tomorrow's hunt. We've been hunting this bean field, where so I took my doe, um, shot the two the one evening that I didn't get on film, but these deer have been working this wood line. We're just trying to figure out how to hunt. There's a swale here that me and dad have both seen a bunch of deer. Just haven't gotten a good shot at one yet. And they seem to be, here's our property. And they seem to be working through this cut in the bottom here. We just saw them. There's a mom with three little ones that, that right down there we drove by um, that we've been seeing in this field. And then we've seen deer cut through this little grassy area. So we're coming out here tonight just to watch this field and see if it comes, fills up in the next 20 minutes before it gets too dark. But a little preliminary scout and we're both gonna plan to hunt this field tomorrow we think so okay guys damn i got really hot sweaty coming in here but i'm officially set up today this wednesday and uh third week of hunting um dad took a doe on sunday i think sunday those two the, the second week so we got three more since our first week of the last video so we're at seven deer right now but we've been on this small bean belt where i killed all three of my deer or all three of my four deer and they've been coming out in this little swale and i'll show you what it looks like but they've been coming out here 
like religiously coming through this little bottom and I kind of work out here. And that's what I'm trying to hunt tonight. The wind's a south wind, so it's actually blowing towards the road. So I'm setting up on the other side. We've never set up on this side, but I'm really tucked in here. Those deer have no clue I'm here. And the hope is get a couple big does, at least two or three or four, get them out here in the middle. Hopefully shoot one, wreck another. Hopefully the other one stay out there and shoot another one. Hopefully knock down two or three tonight. It's perfect. It's all, not even 80 degrees. It's like high 70s. There's a front moving in. And uh, it's just really nice. It's overcast. It's not stu stupid hot. So we'll see what happens. But I'll show you the setup. So I came in through there. The deer like to work up here. We could definitely take them here. This would be a safe shot right through here. The farmer's house is right there with the grain pens. But from here to here, wide open, no issues. But this this little nook right here is where they're kind of coming. They've been coming through every evening. Then they popped out the last evening. I at the back and I was walking up the sides. They were sitting right here. So, perfect setup. Tucked in here, as you can tell. All this brush right behind me. Really tucked in here. And the wind's blowing right this way. So, should be a perfect spot. Hopefully they come out tonight. I want to talk to you about what the ammo I'm shooting today. This is Winchester's 180 grain bonded bullet. I'm testing this out. I have not shot an animal with this yet, but I have not been really impressed with blood trails with the 150 XP. I wanted to test this out, so we went to the range, got this sighted in, and we're ready to go. So tonight will be the first kill with this bullet and test out the new ammo. Hopefully it'll work well. I think I think I'll like this a lot better than the other ammo, but we'll see how it goes. Well, folks, there she is. She only went about 30 yards in there. Piled up pretty quick. You can see her white belly from the thing. Another nice doe. Number eight. Okay. All right, everybody, check this out. So I shot this doe frontal. This is a bonded, look at this. This is a bonded bullet. See how it stays intact? This is why I chose this ammo, because I wanted it to stay intact and punch through look at that it retained easily i don't know how much weight that's gonna weigh we could weigh it at home but that's how what a bonded bullet does versus an xp bullet the xp bullet blows up in the cavity and loses all its stuff and this bonded bullet stays intact just like that it went through the whole dough and stayed like that pretty cool all right guys so we just got back to the house we're weighing the bullet it weighs 10 grams and i just put it in the calculator and it basically equates to 85 per 85% retention from what it weighed at 180 grams. It's 154 grams right now. So that's how much it retained itself through the whole deer. It only lost 15% of its bullet weight. and mushroomed up real nice. Pretty crazy. Okay guys, so as we ended the video, we showed you the mushroom bullet from the deer that we pulled it out of and 
kind of explain to you the bullet, but didn't really go into detail about you know what type of bullet it is. So I want to start off by saying how I was testing that new new ammo out. The bullet I have been shooting is this 350 um, 350 Legend, the XP Extreme Point 150 grain bullet, which is this one right here. And I've been really impressed with the knockdown power. It's every deer I've shot with it has only gone about 40 to 60 yards max and then just fell right over. But I haven't been impressed, impressed with the blood trails. Um, every deer I've shot has not had a blood trail at all. And everybody else is telling me, yeah, I've had blood trails. And I'm just saying it's been like five deer in a row with this bullet and never had a blood trail. So um, I wanted to try something different because, you know, the point of this bullet is that it's not going to punch through the deer when it goes into the cavity once it enters the animal it exp expands in the cavity and basically turns all the all the organs and everything into liquid and just shrapnel everywhere and then the bullet coming out of it isn't supposed to be a big bullet and that's just how it's designed and these bullets are awesome they i mean they, they do their work but you know if you're worried to be tracking deer or make a bad shot this is not the bullet for it so i really wanted to try the 180 grain so, like I said, I wanted to try the 180 grain, which, you know, I showed you in the video, the bullet. Here's the bullet. It's 30 grains heavier, and these are Winchester's PowerPoint 180 grain bullets. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it'll clear in the camera, but that's what these are. And um, I bought them, been wanting to try them for a while because, like I said, just haven't been really impressed with it. And the bullet performed to perfection. So, these bullets... Are not are a completely different bullet. These are technically I want to call these. I think they're like a bonded bullet. I don't know if they're a full bonded bullet, but if you don't know, a bonded bullet is where it has like a a jacket around the lead, where it's actually like fused together, so it's supposed to hold the bullet together better than like a normal lead bullet or these extreme points where they are meant to expand and explode in the cavity. And as you can tell from this. It held together very well so i believe this is a bonded bullet i'm not completely sure but this is exactly what i thought it was going to do so these bullets are meant to punch through and basically be like a like you would shoot an arrow punch through the whole animal and leave two big holes on each side of the animal so you have a better blood trail and it did work to perfection i mean i shot that doe right in the front um and it would have easily blown through if it was a you know broadside shot i mean it almost went through the whole deer and just got caught up barely in her ham so it traveled you know through two feet of deer and then stopped um but very impressed with these bullets you know this is something i think a lot of people don't realize um you know we as midwest hunters really focus on arrows and broadheads and everything but you know we all just it seems like a lot of people don't talk about or understand bullets and how bullets are made and are designed and each bullet is completely different and something you need to focus on um or you know think about when you're buying bullets to understand what you're going to get out of that bullet and how it's going to perform when you hit an animal every bullet different is different just like these power points and then these or these power points and these extreme points completely different bullets completely different things of how they're going to react when they hit the animal and that's something you should definitely think about but I've been very impressed right away with this bullet. The doe only went about 30 yards, and you can see in the video there's blood pumping right out of her right away. And uh, I'm definitely going to try this more. Um, so I'm some more deer for this depredation stuff and do maybe another video recap and maybe do a broadside shot to really show you how it performed on a broadside shot where it punches through the vitals and see what a real blood trail would look like, you know, with a better broadside shot instead of a frontal shot where you only have one hole. But... I just want to go over that because I feel like a lot of people don't understand the different bullet types and how they react. And I'm very impressed with this and definitely going to be shooting the 180 again. I also have some Hornady Whitetail in 170 grain, which I believe, um, I'll have to double check, but I believe it's just like this. It's like a bonded bullet and might even test that out and shoot all three different types and just kind of show you guys how they perform. But so far, impressed with this. Only one deer with the 180 grain, and we'll see. But if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. It'll help me out a lot. Thanks.